What's going on guys? It's your man Ed Hayes, the Wholesale Coach here, back for another video. And in this video, I want to talk about the pros and cons of running a wholesaling business out here. I know we all want to get to the bag, right? But it takes work. It takes time, right? But there's great positives as well. So in this video, I just want to break down the benefits, the drawbacks, and all of that in regards to wholesaling real estate. So I hope that you all are pumped for this content, man. Go ahead, hit that like button for me now, and subscribe to the channel if you know. Now let's go ahead, let's get into it. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. You heard what she said. All right, so pro number one is gonna be that you're your own boss. No one's there telling you, hey man, you gotta wake up at 6 a.m. No one's forcing you to get things done every single day and staying on top of you being your manager and things of that nature. So you're your own boss. You get that freedom away from going to a job every single day. But you also have to be your own boss. So that's also con number one as well, is that you're your own boss once again. So even though you're your own boss, yeah, you get that time freedom, right? You still have to actually get the work done. No one cares whether you actually do what you need to do or not. Who cares whether you win or not? If you don't care, nothing's gonna get done. And when you're working a job, you may be used to someone else telling you what to do. When you're working a wholesaling business, no one gives a damn whether you do it or not. And no one's gonna be on top of you making sure that you're actually making the calls, that you're sending the text, that you're reaching out to buyers, that you're marketing out your properties, whatever it is, no one's gonna care. So you're your own boss is actually pro number one and con number one at the same time. The next pro is that you can make a lot more than a job typically. So you know, you go into a job, you're working for nine, 15, $20 an hour, at the end of the month, you still haven't even made as much income as the average wholesaler who just goes out here and gets one deal. So like the average income from a wholesale deal is about five to $10,000. For most people, most people aren't earning 60K per year, right? So if you're, if you're actively out here consistently getting wholesale deals, you're getting a decent income to be honest. So it is some really, really decent side income if you're still working a job, or it can be life-changing income that can get you free from working that job. The next pro is that I believe that wholesaling is the best entry-level position into real estate. To actually get a good deal is the number one skill out here. Everyone wants to buy properties and there's very little inventory nationwide. So those of us who can go out here, actually speak with sellers, build up that rapport, get deals under contract for a discount price, we're some of the most valuable people in the industry right now. Wholesalers, agents, investors, everyone needs to know how to go out here and get a deal for a low price. So it's worth it for the people who are gonna buy it on the back end. So whether it's you or whether it's someone else that you're gonna be selling it to, getting these properties at a discount price, AKA a wholesale price, is the greatest skill in, in real estate, period, in my personal opinion. And lastly, the last pro is gonna be that there's a very, very low cost to entry when it comes to wholesaling specifically. If you wanna get out here and start wholesaling, you can literally start making some calls today, potentially end up closing you a deal next week. It's not really that complicated and the price point to actually get in is pretty low, right? So you can go out and do some driving for dollars. You can be reaching out to for sale by owner leads on Zillow and Realtor.com and Craigslist and things of that nature. The price point to get in is very low, but it does take a significant amount of effort to actually get these deals to the table and beyond. Now, in terms of the cons to wholesaling, the second con is going to be that there's a lot of people beginning to wholesale right now. Therefore, there's going to be a ton more competition pretty much nationwide. Wherever you are, there's likely 
dozens at least of other wholesalers in your market who are actively trying to market to the same buyers that you're trying to market to. So it's a market out here. People are working. So because so many other wholesalers are getting into the market, it doesn't mean that, oh, you know, I'm not going to win. It just means that you're going to have to work harder to stay consistent and continue to get out here and get deals. Don't let the competition deter you guys. You got to get out here, put in that work and gain more attention than the rest of the competition. And what comes along with a lot of people starting to wholesale is also that negative stigma that's related to wholesaling. A lot of people just believe that wholesalers are these shady people out here. And honestly, there are a lot of shady people using very deceptive, misleading methods to actually get these sellers to convert. Now, the next count is gonna be that you need knowledge, skills, and experience to actually be able to take these deals down. They're not just gonna come overnight just randomly. You're not gonna be able to just completely be clueless about what you're doing and actively get consistent deals out here. You may be able to get a one-off, but if you wanna be consistent, if you wanna do this as more than just a hobby, if you wanna turn it into a business, you're gonna have to have the knowledge, skills, and experience to make it happen. And as well as the relationships. You have to know people, you have to know things, you have to understand the terminology and the lingo and the numbers and have the relationships with people that can actually help you facilitate these deals. You smart. It's super, super important, and I think a lot of people getting into the game don't really realize how many moving pieces there are to actually get a deal closed. So just keep in mind, it takes a lot of knowledge, skills, and experience, but you can get this knowledge and skills and experience for absolutely free checking out videos on YouTube just like this. And then lastly, the last con, and it's a huge reason why I'm becoming the buyer this year. I'm out here in Las Vegas now, and I'm actively trying to purchase my own properties and it's because of the last con which is you're giving the wealth away. Now I realize I've been out here wholesaling since 2016. I haven't purchased any of my own properties as of yet. So therefore over the last five years nearly I've been giving the wealth away to my investors locally out in Chicago and other places around the nation. Now, I highly encourage that you all get the knowledge, skills, and experience of how to wholesale, but don't spend your entire career just wholesaling. Eventually, get into the game. Start doing subject to deals, lease options, maybe some fix and flips, buy and hold some properties, things of that nature. Actually holding on to the assets is where the true wealth is created in real estate. Wholesaling by itself is a very active role. You have to actively be out here doing a lot of things. It's not that passive income flow like a lot of us ultimately want to get to. Okay, so make sure that at some point as you gather this wholesaling knowledge that you use that knowledge for yourself. Do yourself a favor. Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself out here, guys. Make sure that you hold on to some of these assets over time. You'll thank me later. Anyway, though, man, I hope that y'all like this video. That's about it, man. Four pros, four cons to getting out here wholesaling real estate. I hope that you all found some value in this video. If so, make sure that y'all hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. We got some new bangers coming up for y'all, man. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you'd like me to make a video on next. I got y'all, man. I do this for y'all, for the community, man. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope that y'all staying healthy and staying blessed out there. And until next time, Guys, yeah. I get to it off the runway. Different incomes, not one way. Living life on a one way. I knew this would happen someday. You can ask my day one day. Cloudy days turn to sun rays. Only way to way up way. Know my way, know my feng shui. I get to it first, I got you mad. I get that when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back.